Hi there. So we um, are ready to do our next coat of art resin on our wood tray. So what I'm going to do now is um, I took a piece of acetate here and I cut out a small piece to fit over the hole in the wood. So what I'm going to do is tape it on uh, to create a base for our first layer. And you can see I also taped around the edges um, here on the underside so to protect it from any drips when we resin the top side. Okay, so I'm just going to tape this guy on and we're going to flip. I'm just going to give it a quick spray with the dust spray. Now um, I've got my resin here in its baby bath, so I'm just going to pull this out again. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more than a shot glass uh, of each one because I'm going to do, um, again, with a gloved hand, I'm going to cover the top, but I'm also going to need enough for my first base layer. There's one. So in we go. Stirring and stirring and stirring. Three minutes, scraping the bottoms and sides. Okay, great, so I've stirred my art resin and I'm ready now to do a very thin coat with my gloved fingers. And it's totally normal if you have to um, sand and resin and sand and resin a few times, especially with a natural um, material like wood. Okay, so now that this is coated in a nice thin layer of art resin, I'm ready to pour my, my base layer in the hole here. So I'm going to do like a really thin layer, like an eighth of an inch, uh, just because I don't want any bubbles. We've got our acetate below to contain the resin. So just again to err on the side of the caution because the hole actually goes underneath where I can't see. So I'm just um, tilting it a bit just to make sure that the resin is hitting all of those spots there. And then it's going to self-level and I'm just going to torch out the bubbles. Okay, so I'm just going to rest them again on these little um, lifters here. We're going to leave it for 24 hours and then we're going to pour our next coat and we'll start building up our layers. So we're ready now to start our first um, layer of building up this, the resin in the hole here. Yeah, it turned out really well. And now we're just going to pour really thin, a succession of really thin coats, uh, torch the bubbles out, and we're going to do it every two hours just to, to build up the layer of resin um, in the hole here. We're going to end up sanding this entire thing down again um, just to make our resin in the hole flush, to make this nice and flat. So I'm not too worried about the rest of it right now. Pour it in, try not to... Let it run too much up the sides here. Okay, it's looking good. I'm gonna get my torch here. I'm gonna torch out these bubbles. Okay, so then we're gonna cover this. We're gonna wait two hours, and then we're gonna pour another thin letter, layer, and we're just gonna keep going and going until we're fill the hole. Okay, so we're ready to put our very last coat of resin over the hole in our tray here. Uh, and once this cures tomorrow, we're gonna sand down the, uh, the tray to make it completely level, and then we're gonna put our final coat of resin on. Okay, so here goes the last coat. Okay, perfect, so I'm just gonna torch it one more time to get those bubbles out. Awesome, it looks like glass, beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna cover this up, and tomorrow we're gonna sand. See you then.